na Urbana. Stars and all white outfit there, they signaling the victory for today's game. If you look at the setup there by the coach CK Akono going into this game, he's made some changes there from that team that you with South Africa making life particularly difficult there for the South Africans who have a final game against Sudan. And that match is also being played today. And the South Tommy and Prince beside they are in Accra with your all green outfit. Expected to still give the Ghanaians a very huge game here at the Accra Sports Stadium. We're looking forward to changing a lot of things with some four changes made by the coach Eusebio. An interesting bit about the side is that they are still looking forward to uh, a good performance as they approach the World Cup qualification that is going to start in May have a zero chance of qualifying they currently sit bottom in the group with no points and they have conceded 13 goals at Tommy and Principe and so their captain Joe Pontes is looking to uh, help his side in today's game well, the Black Stars want to top group C to make a statement uh, to the rest of the continent the four-time African winners haven't won the continental showpiece in 40 years and desperate uh, to return to the summit of African football. So the Black Stars back in 2019 indicated to the rest of Africa that uh, they're going to return to Ghana with a trophy, which of course wasn't a story. Siki corner here, uh, very calm and composed going into this game. It's going to be a debut performance so arrival for the African Cup of Nations with Comoros qualifying together with the Gambia. And so that's uh, Jana Eusebio. He's got a huge task trying to assemble a very good side for the side coming into this game. Nigeria also qualifying, Egypt qualifying as well. Tunisia, Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Gabon, Zimbabwe, and Kuturia, Guinea. And Nigeria, all of them have qualified for the African Cup of Nations together with Ghana and Nigeria as well. well so now all is set there for the game to start Ghana from left to right and here we go referee for today's game Suleiman Jama from Djibouti there's a team moving forward all well, the Ghanaians have had to make some changes as well and Coach CK Akono throwing into the team Thomas Pate, Jordan Ayu, Andre Ayu, and Usman Bukai. This one demand has now been fouled, making it a, a 60 cup there for the country. Still going to be Andre Ayu here. And looking forward for Benson off flat offside. Assistant from Benin. Detunji Joe Cortel. He's a very young player there, Benson Anna, just 20 years of age. He's got two caps there, plays for Slovakian side. Opportunity to be part of the team when Ghana played against Carter in the international friendly game and has cemented his place on the left full back for the Black Stars. Opportunity there for his team to.
calm the nerves. And try to push forward. At least Montayo find support there for Mendes. It's going to be a huge midfield battle. And Ghana did see the likes of uh, Fiyakwa and uh, Mubarak Kwakasu holding the midfield down against South Africa. And there's been changes there with uh, Wakasu and uh, Patti looking to work together now. Ganiu, uh, Kumasi Asante for the court centre back. Uh, he's got some positive reviews after that uh, wonderful performance against South Africa. He's looking to maintain that performance today. Wakasu. It's Mabara Man. Again, the offside flag has been flashed there by uh, Etunji Hotel, the Beninois assistant referee. It's Jordan here, picks things up for Ghana. to play. Still the Ghanaians who are looking to push forward for the opportunity. Sparte playing it well, pretty much simple out there. Good over there, it's going to be a corner kick, and uh, it's Edley Montaigne who pushed the ball there for the first corner kick of the game for the Black Stars. A little of a reaction there from that performance, and defensively, wasn't looking good. Chess didn't want to put himself in any. Of a position. Here comes the Ajax man, Kudus sets it to the far post. It's been brought down. It's going to be the first opportunity there for Ghana. Still danger, not cleared yet. Vegas is possessed. Opportunity for Ghana, looking for the first goal. And it's been hit wide. Smart will carry there. 22 years. This is club football for Belgium. Gent. And uh, he's looking to change things there. He's played 24 matches there for his club in Belgium. He's got four goals and had four assists there. For the game against South Africa, he's had 1,605 minutes for his uh, club. Not surprising, he's starting today's game. Bacasso. Pate. Gives the ball away. Here comes Artomi and Principe. And love to run here for a play there for Cardoso. Just opportunity. Cardoso lifts the ball to the far post again. Roman's head up. Well, he has far. Scanians and Jordan will calm things down. Not too weak. And again, gives the ball away. There's Artomi and Principe having some quality chance here and uh, looking for a handball situation the referee Jama will have none of that Osman Bokai looking to uh, intelligently pick uh, Andrea Yu and that's the assistant referee there from uh, Benin This moment there for the Ghanaians especially. It's been great moments and great time for both sides going into this uh, competition. Not too much in a hurry, Nicolas Okoku. A good play now, Jordan, goalkeeper comes out, it's Almeida. But that's the clearance there for Sartobi and Principe. An intelligent run there by the Ghanaian centre forward. Wakasu, looking to find support there with uh, Babaraman. The left full back for the Ghanaians, 26 years, is making his uh, 31st cap there for Ghana. Oh, lovely play here, Osman Bukhari in the box now. Jordan waiting, Andrea, you waiting. And cleverly, he's been dealt with. 
and Southam and Principe off the woods now. They try to find a way, hit the ball long way forward. It's going to be an opportunity. There's nobody in there, but still there's to be great chance from Southam and Principe. They're having a very quality time at their passport stadium. They tell you they might want to be a banana peel. Go start, just six minutes gone, and they have one of the decent chances in the competition. Go play Southam and Principe. So far, it's been a very good spell there for them. Luis Leo going to start. He wants to deal with this ball. And spotting the ten shed there for Sartomi and Principal Luis Leo. Plays his club football for Tijuana in Mexico. He's having a few in this game and he wants to take this free kick oh not too far but very far and that's the man Luis Leo the Mexican base footballer South Tommy and Principe has got some fire there quality play there from uh, Luis Leo would have been a perfect goal there for him to celebrate here in Ghana the Black Stars had a narrow win against the South Tommy and Principe side Good chance. Good turn there from Andrea Yu. Mokasu. Goes for about a man on the left hand side. In the box is Osman Bokari and uh, Jordan and Andre. Mabaraman again. Looking to pick up yet another opportunity there, but uh, wouldn't work for him. Vegas with that block. CK, a corner looking on. Twenty-four teams are called upon to represent the continent at the African Football Mundial in Cameroon next year. So far, 12 and more are hoping to qualify in today's game. Well, interestingly, some teams did qualify way back in November. Senegal, Nigeria, the defending champions. Kudus Mohamed scored two goals for the Black Stars, and all those two goals were scored against South Africa. He's moved to Ayas, really. So well praised by many. So having a good time with the Black Stars as well. He's had ten matches and scored two goals and gave three assists there for Ayas. Vegas. Looking to help his teammates, Semedo, who also plays a tough football in Portugal. What cast you here? Kudus. Ayu. Pate. Well, I was looking for the run of uh, his brother there, Jordan. It's going to be a huge fight there with Jadel Nazari. Ghana retains possession and Jordan looks forward. The good support there. Usman Rukai missing the opportunity and Vegas does well to win it back for Sartorian Principes. That was a poor play there from Vegas. Upanel was in Vegas there. All of them drifting back to game possession. Ten minutes already gone in the game and still goalless. <laughs> Trying to hold down the midfield, both teams. Is Andrea, are you here? Still the Black Stars moving forward. The Ghanaians are looking to get a first goal here. After 11 minutes of play. Barbara Mann sends it one in and opportunity for Jordan but well blocked there by Jadel Nazari it's still Ghana with possession Pate Kudus 
It's one way traffic performance there for the Ghanaians. Benson here picks up uh, Kudus Mohamed. Lovely flick there. A good play there from J Jadel Nazari. Benson again for Ghana. It's Kudus Mohamed, the playmaker. Cuts in beautifully with the right. Again, he's been dealt with. Edley Mutayo. Well, working overtime there, the defense of South Tomian Principe. The Black Stars are making them overwork and they'll be defending since the start of the game. But I must say they've had some quality chances as well. Chris Mohamed, let's run to the far post. An opportunity is in. And guess who scored? Nicolas Opoku. Nicolas Opoku not so the first goal for Ghana. For a set piece. He comes in to score. And that is the first goal for this man, Nicolas Opoku. His first goal for Ghana, and look at that great goal there from him, flying on top of everyone, and that is the goal for him. Eleven caps for Ghana, and his first goal. For the Black Stars, the man who left Brickham Chelsea for Club African and then from there to Udnes and to French League two side Amiens. And this season alone, Nicolas Opoku has played 26 matches for his club and now he gets his first goal for Ghana. Well, the expectation was already written there for the Ghanaians to win. And now they have a goal to show for the effort as Sartori and Prince will get the chance to invade the Ghanaian territory. Lift the ball up here looking for Cardoso. And of course, Luis. Luis here looks to turn. The man who plays a tough football for Mexico gets a corner kick for Ghana for Sartori and Principe. Poorly defended by the Ghanaians, but uh, again, Luis couldn't quite get the right direction on the ball. Ghana leading by a goal to nail. Nicolas Apoku's goal, separating the two sides. But a corner kick there for the visitors to deal with. for the opportunity to equalize the flag up and offside. Hey. Well, a good goal there for Nicolas Broku. Look to celebrate that one. Well, Sato told me and Prince Bay have only scored two goals in the qualifications and those two goals were scored by Suarez and Ramis against South Africa on match day four. And Jordan looking to move in here. Jordan. The Crystal Palace man gets the opportunity, goes to ground, looking for a penalty call, but that will not be given by referee Suleiman Jama. Tell you what, referee Suleiman Jama. Since he started working as a referee, he's only given five penalties to home sides. And that's the only time he's done that. He's not ready, he wants to make it six. So, Tommy and Prince will lie 187th on the FIFA ranking as of February 18, 2021. Partey wants to spread the ball to the right-hand side and has Benson there. It's Jordan. The play. Partey is here. Jordan is in there. Murphy tries 
or the goalkeeper tries well to deal with it, Almeida. Oh, Jordan Ayu. This is his 11th year playing for the Black Stars. He's got 70 goals for Ghana. 63 appearances for the Black Stars. In contest, yeah, Joel. Good play there from Sartori and Principe as they move into the Black Stars area. The goal scorer Nicolas Opoku puts the ball away for a throw in. Oh, good ball in on top of the goal post there. Should be happy man, Wendy, CK Okono, qualifying the team to the African Cup of Nations after starting about assistant coach to Chris Yapia. And the Black Stars picked up a 2-0 win against South Africa. It was a lovely pass there by Andrea Yu. Oh, but uh, Bukhari already flagged offside. Well, Seiki Akono then took charge of the team. And, and that's the uh, pass there from Andrea Yu and the assistant referee from Benin. They can then play outside in time. Nicolas Opoku would have to deal with this one acrobatically. Still fighting on and trying to make sure they have the equalizing goal before the break. Sartomi and Principe still push a moment forward and getting the chance to push forward again. It's Cardoso. Physically. I mean, the boss in this game, there, the Sartomian principal side. Controlling affairs. And yet again, allowing the ball to go over the baseline. So the Falcons then two parrots. Sartomian principal are down by a goal to nail. Tetsi Nicolas Sopoku Zeda. From Kudus Mohamed's corner kick. Ghana on the move. Kudus again spreading players to the left hand side. Finds Jordan. Barbara Man on the left. Looking to cut in beautifully. He does that. Barbara Man. And he personally wanted to have the glory. The man who was capped 31 times for Ghana. This is Clafford Ball in Greece. Barbara Man. Had a very uh, torrid time in his playing career. He moved from uh, Chelsea to uh, Shaka and then eventually having to find some solids in, in Greece. This is Kudus. Always trying to weave his way. He's got a very fantastic goal for the Black Stars against South Africa. The team's qualification will be a very huge one there for the Ghanaian coach, Iki Akono. Again, the Ghanaians are looking to find some bit of space on the right hand side. There's Andrea Yu, the captain for the side. Andrea Yu. I wouldn't say the practicing game there for the Ghanaians, would you? Well, they're having a very quiet day and uh, excellent uh, control of the ball there. Mobile for Carson, not too much pressure on the team. That's a really sweet qualification. Raman, good play there from left foot back. Looks to get this one in. Good diving header there from South Tomia Principe. A 
Mendes. We're going to dive in ahead of that, trying to get the ball away from Osman Brokai. Well, the very first ever away competitive win was back in uh, as a three one win against Mauritius. For Sartorian Principe, it was a preliminary qualification. Eventually winning the tie 5 2 on Agate score. That's a can be able to join Ghana in Group C, Sartorian Principe. Andrea Ayu, the Swansea City man, and he finds the Arsenal teammate, uh, Pate. Again, Pate gives the ball away. But Ghana retains possession again, Jordan. Babaraman. Gives the ball in play, Babaraman. Good play from the Ghanaians. Jordan here. And again, the effort goes wide. We are still trying to find a way to come in into the game. They spin some fluid play there from the Ghanaians. And yet again, all the effort they have a goal to show for it. At least that's is Nicolas Okoku making things pretty much easy for them. But they still want to score more. And make it pretty much easy once again. Cardoso down. Picked up an injury. situation there for Sartorian Principe. Ricardo Cardoso this is tough football for Belenenses FC. Portugal. And there's the coach there for Sartorian Principe. He serve you. chance yet again trying to fly the ball into the box and Jordan comes in there's a little space there it is going to be yet opportunity has been blocked Pate was looking to make it two for Ghana but still the Ghanaians will be pushing forward Wakasu goal scorer Opoku This is Andrea Yu, the captain for the Black Stars. Well, possession lost there by the Ghanaians and the ball sent in. It's a long way out there for defensive work there from Nicolas Opoku. It's going to be a foul here. Looking foul again. And that's uh, Luis. Dos Anjos, 33 years of age. He was born in Arantela in Portugal, was played for 17 clubs since 2006. He's not really looking too good there for Cardoso. 19 years of age, seen as one of the deadly players there, right footed players for South Tunian Principe. into the Ghanaian path. So it's going to be a huge one, but it's been poorly dealt with there by Samedo. Here comes Osman Bukhari. Find a cutting edge with a squeezing passing movement there from the Ghanaians once again to to probably get the second. 
and they're still trying hard to make sure they're able to get in there. This Cruz, oh, lovely pass down to the left-hand side, but Rama to uh, deal with that one, couldn't quite get to it. Well, so Cardoso could not come back in the game, so a change quickly had to be made. So here comes 19 shirted player Adarito Perez de Mata, a midfielder. This is Capo for Porto Rio and uh, Samtomian Principe. be made by Santomi and Principe because Cardoso couldn't start. So Mata comes to replace Cardoso because of the injury. And that's the man there. Cardoso has got uh, three man left actually. He's only three months into his contract. Split for Sporting Andix in uh, as the Benfica youth teams. So Ricardo Cardoso is on the bench now, and Mata replaces him. Good play, Ghana looking to make it two there. Osman Bukari drifting one there, looking for the feet of uh, Jordan, couldn't quite get to him. Roman gets the opportunity to push in. It is Cruz. And again, his uh, pass has been blocked by the wind hit. And it's going to be a long way out there. Lovely piece of brilliance there, but uh, Ganeu mopped things up for Ghana. Kudus. Again, well taken off his feet there. Here comes Samedo. Fighting things out there with uh, Mubarak Kasu. Captain, here are you 91 cap for Ghana and looking to move his way in there. Good play from Andre de Ayu. He scored 19 goals. It's going to be a, a decision that has to go to the Ghanaians. is a penalty call, and this is the sixth penalty given by referee Suleiman Jama. Told you. Five penalty calls from the referee have all gone in favor of home teams. And they yet another penalty call to a home side, Ghana, making it six penalty calls there from this referee, Suleiman Jama from Djibouti. Tell you what, it's going to be the younger brother of Andrea Yu to deal with this one. He's already scored 17 goals for Ghana. Jordan. 64th cap for Ghana and is hoping to make it 18 goals for the Black Stars. 25 appearances for Christoph Palace, just a goal to show for his effort in the 2020-2021 season. And here he comes again and Jordan makes it pretty much easy for himself. 18 goals for Ghana, 64 appearances for the Black Stars. And this man who is celebrating his 10th anniversary since he joined the Black Stars, his 11th year for the Black Stars, Jordan. And he's already scored 18 goals as a penalty and he calmly placing it bottom corner. 2 0 for Ghana against South Tome and Principe. Well, it was all expected, at least for the Ghanaians to 
becoming a bit of a worrying situation for this man who was born in Sao Tome and Principe. They lost 2 0 against Sudan. They're down by two goals to nil, Sao Tome and Principe. Semedo Gosing, clattering the goalkeeper, Razak Abalura. <laughs> Tell you what, elsewhere it is Sudan 2, South Africa nil. So the Sudanese are looking to qualify from Group C alongside the Ghanaians. The ball down to left-hand side once again is uh, Baba Rahman. A lovely play there from the Ghanaians again, but uh, again it's been calmly dealt with. Uh, it's going to be a corner kick situation. And then you have uh, Vegas racing down from attacking position to defend his line. Ghanaians not giving up. They want to really score a lot of goals there, wouldn't they? Because uh, you know the storyline there with the Sudanese who's scoring 2 0 against uh, South Africa. So, much of the work really being done at home by most of the home teams. Corner kick put in there. It's been headed down by Opoku again. He's looking to make a two there for himself. Uh, two goals, I should say. And making the brace. But it's already 2 0 for Ghana. Well, interesting a bit about the African Cup of Nations there in uh, Cameroon. We'll have uh, Comoros Island and Achi Pelago of a volcanic island of the east coast of Africa as one of the continent's smallest countries. It has a population less than a million, but they have a memorable result in the qualifying campaign, including victories over Togo, Kenya, and a draw against Egypt, Comoros Island. They have qualified for the African Cup of Nations for the first time. Well, for Egypt, it will play its 25th African Cup of Nations next year in Cameroon. So I expect to see some interesting bit of work there from Comoros Island. They're the very first time a team has qualified for the African Cup of Nations and they'll be celebrating that one day. Almeida. He's not been able to get the boss into very deep positions there. Thomas Pate. And here comes Ghana. Osman Bukari. Turns well. Bukari looking to hit this one. All weaving runs from him. And possession taken away from him again. And Andre Ayu. It's a handball decision against him. Osman Bukari here on the chase to the left hand side and looking to find space. Bukari again. Can he really make it count? No. Almeida comes in to make a save. Okay, and Andre, are you was actually waiting to just uh, tap home for the third goal for Ghana? Another injury concerns there for South Tommy and Principe. Well, they've been met to overwork themselves and looking forward to this game. It's been a very difficult one, and CK Corner would have to still give instructions to his team. There will be some tete there by the coach who serve you as well. A 
quick look at his side and uh, it is Mendes who's gone to ground. It's Jordan already excited to have scored a goal here. Ibrahim, the youngest uh, goalkeeper in the stands, and this sitting there just watching this game together. For you, entry. Here comes Lewis. for a boy's brother Andre Bukari back to Jordan again oh, to the far post and they have already gone up off and offside against uh, Kudus Mohamed Siki Kona did retreat uh, that uh, he did the foreign base players and his team for decisive games. He did also indicate that uh, calling up home base players for preliminary camping was purely a precautionary measure first. And he did indicate that he had the best players in the side and also had to blend in with the foreign base players. qualification and we've seen Ghana looking to pick up a, another goal Kudus, he gets the ball in the box, Kudus turns well, Kudus, good save from Almeida. This man is looking for his third goal for the Black Stars. Quick feet, Kudus Mohamed, the Yaks, midfielder. And uh, still stays 2-0 for Ghana. To last five minutes of the first half. And this was a quality chance there for Kudus Mohamed. Turned well on the left. And good save by goalkeeper Ameda. Appears to be a practicing match there for the Ghanaians. Ghanaian coach would love to Richie CV with qualification. Of course, he's already done that. And what is happening is just one of games there for the Black Stars, Thomas Party. I was looking for the run on the right hand side of Benson Annan. Ball same team. Defensively, it's been cleared away by Jadel Nazari. here fighting things up with Nicolas Opoku and we got the decision on his way. Jadel Nazari sporting the five shirt 25 years 
places that for football in Georgia for Sabotalo Tbilisi making his fourth appearance there for his country's Octomian Principe. Roman Pate. Good 45 minutes of play there for the Black Stars, at least coach uh, a corner would like to throw in some other players there to get them fit and uh, a little bit uh, mobile there, having seen the team take a 2-0 lead in the first 45 minutes. It's going to be a foul against uh, Opoku. Luis tries this one from long range. Jordan are you pretty much a very quiet day in quiet performance with Crystal Palace Jordan 25 appearances for his club football coming on seven times as a substitute only scored one goal this season and he has a goal here making it 18 goals in 64 appearances for the Black Stars Jordan Nazari, that's it down only as far as uh, Thomas Pate. And uh, can see it's a foul. Brings out captain Joe Pontes. Still in control. Cruz, their pot is from the journalist watching the game. And it is Nazari charging forward, looking for support. He has Mata. Nazari again. Ball to the far post. Samedo was in there to pick it up. Abalora deals with it for the Ghanaians. Twenty seconds to go. Then the first forty-five minute plus additional time. Still the Ghanaians who lead by two goals nil. Well the referee Suleiman Jama for Djibouti as the first forty-five minute with the Ghanaians leading by two goals nil. It's been goals there from Nicolas Opoku, his first goal for the Black Stars, and Jordan, who is uh, playing for the Black Stars in the eleventh year, making it eighteen goals for himself. 64 appearances for the Black Stars, but for Sao Tome and Principe, it's still going to be a long way out for them here at their Craft Sports Stadium. At halftime, it is Ghana 2, Sao Tome and Principe now.
deposit some money at the bank and buy some things at the mall. Okay, oh, but deposit money at this time. Which bank is still open? Oh, Akusia. With a Stambik ATM, even without your debit card, you can deposit money at the ATM. And you know the ATM doesn't close. It is 24-7. Oh, wow. That's good, oh. You know, as for me, when I close late, I have to carry the money on me home with hey. all the rest. And sometimes, even when I'm asleep and I hear mosquitoes making noise in my ears, I have to wake up and check if their money is still there. <laughs> oh, Akusia, don't make me I'm laugh. I'm serious, baby. It's not easy for me at all. Me careful. Hey, no kobi view. I'm off to the mall now. So after 45 minutes from the cross post, you know, the Black Stars of Ghana lead Sao Tome and Principal by two goals to now Nicolas Opoku scoring his first goal for the Black Stars with that edit 
effort and Jordan scoring from the spot kick. What it means is that in the two games, Jordan is scored two uh, from the spot kick against Sao Tome and Principe. It was always going to be a question of how many goals the Black Stars were going to score and not whether or not the Black Stars were capable of beating Sao Tome and Principe. Never mind from the class post stadium, the pitch looking very, very awful. That's what we're going to discuss. <laughs> but you know, let me come to you first. Two goals on our but are you happy, comfortable about the way the Black Stars have played so far? Well, happy, yes, because we are losing by two goals to zero, but the performance has been nothing but a training you know, grounds, football, no agency. There's no sense of commitment. What if you paid towards this game very, very you know, sad indeed? But it was to be expected because we had already qualified in terms of mentality and approach to the game was completely different. And the South Thomas have not also shown us that they are capable of causing us any upset. So it's been, you know, <laughs> very calm, very okay, let's run the time, let's pass the ball around. But you've not seen any uh, anything to take away from this game, except the fact that we've scored two goals, except the fact that some players have really played well, uh, not exceptional, but well. So for me, it's been very, very an okay performance. Uh, I, I expect more agency. Maybe because Sao Tome is that poor mm. in terms of international football. Well, I think you hit the nail right. I come to Chito in terms of the sprightliness, in yeah. terms of delectableness, and in terms of the vivacity. You would say that uh, everything is lacking. But if you accuse the boys of lacking commitment, I'm sure they would uh, be very, very upset with you because uh, at the end of the day, they want to impress the league by two goals and all. But you're as good, the point has been made, as your opponents. And uh, once Sao Tome look that poor it can even affect the way you play uh, yeah I, I think so but i thought i was expecting the, the black stars to go on and try and create more chances you know get that defense a lot more busy get a goalkeeper to try and make saves you are leading by two goals to know but quite clearly if you look at the goals you scored it comes down to poor marking poor defending from the oh. first goal we scored from nicolas opoku at the highest level that last of concentration is not going to happen but you take it anyway the penalty that was given away was also a cheap one as well so if they really cut them open to create the openings where you're asking a lot of our strikers to get into the ball sending in crosses from yeah. wide areas i've seen i mean Anna and baba might go down to the bar line but the quality in the end has been poor and that is where mm -hmm. i've been disappointed yeah sao tome are not you know a tough opponent or opposition but this is where you want to Look at how creative you can be when the openings are there, and I've not seen that. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about individual players at this stage. Uh, Osman Bukari, I'm excited about the young man. Uh, how would you rate him in terms of individual performances? Baba in the first uh, game again.